Psalm 107, and I'll be reading out of the English uh, Standard Version. Psalm 107 is a great, great psalm. And just reading verses 4 through 9. Some, speaking of people who are in trouble on how God gets them out. That's what the theme here is. Some wandered in desert wastes, finding no way to a city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted within them. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distresses. He led them by a straight way till they reached a city to dwell in. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wondrous works to the children of men. For he satisfies the longing soul and the hungry soul he fills with good things. Now, this little paragraph involves pain and trouble. There's the pain of wandering, the pain of hunger, the pain of thirst. There's the uh, despair, it says their souls fainted in them as they looked. And what were they looking for? They were looking for something completely and totally legitimate, a city to dwell in. They felt alone, they were looking for a safe haven. Really, all of us as Christians, whether we're conscious every moment of it or not, we are looking for a city to dwell in. And I'm sure here, this is the celestial city. This is heaven. Our hearts, when we have Christ living in our hearts, have a more or less conscious or even subconscious desire for peace, rest, tears to be wiped away, death, disease, trouble, despair, sorrow, grief, to be wiped away, to be no more, and to finally be at rest in security, seeing God face to face. So we will endure like these people who were looking for a city to dwell in. In order to get to that city to dwell in, we see that they went through places that were desolate that were without whatever it was they were looking for. We'll go through those in our lifetime. And here's what we have to remember. Unless we have deliberately disobeyed God and gotten ourselves into messes that we could never blame on God, as long as we walk with God, every trouble, every difficulty, every toil, we have to remember God knows this and he has, he has allowed me to pass through this. This is part of the path he has on my agenda. It is not because he doesn't love me, though we'll be tempted by the enemy to believe that. It is not that he forgot and doesn't even know where we're at. He can't do that. It's not that he is sadistic and just get pleasure out of um, rubbing our faces in the dirt and scuffing our knees. He's not like that. I have to look at these difficulties and these hard times, and this is not easy, but I have to look at them as as some older writers have put it, these are winds that waft or blow our little ship closer to the desired harbor. They bring us closer to home. And God is not just, sometimes we may think of all these difficulties we face, unexpected and so forth, that they are, um, they are somehow for God's benefit only. I don't know why God's always testing me and trying to build my faith. I'm grateful, but man alive, can't, can't he give me a break? In the end, it's my benefit because God loves me so much. He wants me to be qualified for greater reward. Now, I don't understand all of that in Scripture, but I think the Bible is very clear that there are grades or levels um, of reward. Some receive greater rewards than others. Now, if we're in heaven, I don't think it matters a lot, but nevertheless, there are greater rewards that we can have, and it's the desire of God that we be qualified to keep those, have them, be given them when we stand before him. 
So it's always in the end, not primarily for God's good, but mine, that I go through some times I would rather not go through, would never choose to go through. But if I trust and love him, I'll come out on the other end. I can, I can assure you as much as God assures us all in his word, we will come through it and we will triumph. He said, Paul said, thanks be unto God who always causes us to triumph. Triumph is within our grasp then if we acquiesce, surrender completely, stay that way and keep trusting God. We have the victory. So even though we go through thirst and hunger, he'll bring us to a city to dwell in forever. Father in heaven, you're good to us, and that city to dwell in is heaven, ultimately. And you promised that you would lead us there. And it even says, in a straight path. So Lord, help us trust you and just keep following your leading. In the name of Jesus, amen.